Happy Saturday. Back to our breath. And I'm, <laughs> when I do these talks or when I check in and I'm by no means an expert, trial by error, practice, that's it. And I forget to breathe when I'm excitable, when I'm panicked, when I'm scared. And it may be nothing that's going on around me at all. I, could, I can lose my breath through circumstance, through a story, talking to somebody on the phone, reliving a moment, being in resentment and anger or sadness and fear, anxiety. And I forget to breathe. I forget to set my own tempo. Inhale that which feeds my body and nourishes my mind and organs and soul. Breath. I forget that so often. And it's that simple. And that can lead you to a place to get quiet and still and meditate. And even when I'm in meditation, I will begin to project what I need to do within the day. Or if I'm doing, I don't know, some sort of quiet practice, whether it's yoga, meditation, I, you know, many other things. I could be working out. I could be boxing. But it doesn't matter. But if I begin to project into what I need to do and get out of the moment, my mind can increase my breath because I get anxious and then I'm not present. But the breath will get me present. The breath sets the rhythm. Everything is breath. And if we can be in sync with our breath, set the rhythm, I don't know. I'm certainly more peaceful. So, I don't know, food for thought. Get with breath. Don't let it overtake you. If you're anxious and scared, you might be breathing too fast or not breathing at all. I don't know, much love.